unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. This room where you and Amir Khan clashed. Uh, you're back here again. It was a bit calm uh, and respectful today. Nothing was said, but how have you been uh, through this training? It's the, been the best training camp. It's the only time I actually train for a fight, for a big fight. Uh, I'm excited. You know, usually fighters, when they have training camps, they're like, oh, fuck, I can't wait till this training camp is done so I can go fight. I actually enjoyed it. I didn't want this training camp to end. I had so much fun. You know, Fernando he was teaching me a lot of tricks, and uh, it was been, it was like a, I was like a kid at a candy store going to school again. It was beautiful. I loved it. I spoke to Paulie Malinaji a couple of weeks ago. And he said, I know you know Paulie very well. And I said to Paulie, what, what chances do you give Phil? And he said, well, if there's a, any better time to fight Amir, it's now. Obviously, more recently, Amir, recent trainer, Virgil Hunter, fell ill. Obviously, our thoughts go out to him. He has a new trainer. I wish him the best, uh, Virgil. I never met him, but I've heard nothing but great things about him. And I hope, him, I hope he has a speedy recovery. It's, I've always said it, health before anything. Health is your wealth. So I wish you well, Virgil. Obviously, to Amir has to go and get a new trainer, a different type of trainer, more of an attacking trainer. Yeah. Um, is that another advantage to Team Greco? A trainer that doesn't even do mitts? I already doesn't even do mitts. I don't know. Um, but, but I know that uh, Joe Goosen was, you know, respectfully, he's a, he's, a, he's a good good trainer. He's a very good trainer. He is the type of trainer that makes his fighters fight. So maybe we're in for a good fight. Jamal Myers here for Fighting Pride. Phil, during this build-up, Amir said there was a period during his career when the Manny Pacquiao fights and the Mayweather fights were unattainable for him and he fell out of love with boxing. When a fighter says that before uh, an upcoming match, does that fill you with confidence? That's like, you know, when uh, you break your rules, your business rules once, you'll do it again. And he's had a great career. He's had a tremendous career two-time world champion, Olympic silver medalist. He's had a lot of highs. So I think he's turned off from boxing. He's, he, should worry more about, he should worry about being a family man more, in my opinion, and his health, rather than his wealth. He's made a lot of money. He's getting maybe a little greedy. And, but come Saturday night, I think uh, we're going to have fun and I'm going to come home with the victory. We know there was some animosity between you two before the, the last press conference. No, there, was some, there was some antics. No. On his behalf, there was an animosity. Uh, how highly do you rate Amir as an opponent and what do you think a win does for you for your career? Well, I know Amir is Amir. He's a very popular fighter. Uh, obviously, a win gets my career started again, launched properly. And uh, I look forward to that win. There was rumours that you would be calling out Kel Brook if you won Saturday night. Is that the plan? I love Kel Brook. I'm a fan. I'm, a, I'm one of his fans. I love Kel Brook. He's a great gentleman. Uh, we even FaceTime with Fight Hype after his fight. I uh, congratulated him. It's a possibility. Anything is possible in boxing. Look, you guys never thought, or I never thought, I would have fought Amir Khan a year ago. In boxing, you never know. You can't predict the schedule. Okay, guys, last question. How have you found uh, the city of Liverpool and would you like to come back in the UK in future fights? The UK right now is the motherboard of boxing when it comes to fans, when it comes to attractions, when it comes to uh, uh, big events. I want to come back and I will be back in the UK. Three rounds, three minutes, three fights. Unbeaten fighters and major performers, I can't tell you how excited I am about this.